Hi, it's Jamie from Guildbrook Farm, where we are taking you along on our journey to become more self-sufficient. And this is our off-grid cooking series, where we are learning to cook off-grid. And today, we are going to cook a whole chicken inside of a camp Dutch oven using charcoal briquettes. So to premise this video, we have never cooked in a Dutch oven before. We have never cooked uh, in a Dutch oven over charcoal before. Uh, the Dutch oven that we are using is a Lodge 12 inch Dutch oven. It's a camp Dutch oven, which means it has a flat top and it has legs on the bottom and it does have a handle. Now this is gonna be different than other Dutch ovens that are cast iron. Uh, some of them are made more for ovens themselves. They do not have the legs or the top. Uh, and the reason that these camp ovens are flat on top is to put the charcoal briquettes on top because when you wanna cook with charcoal uh, in a camp setting, you're gonna to wanna to cook from both the top and the bottom. So uh, we are going to get our charcoal started and then we're going to put our chicken and our potatoes in here and we're gonna see if we can make a meal out of it. So the fastest way to get charcoal started is to use a charcoal starter. It's basically a cylinder that you can put your charcoal in and some paper in the bottom uh, to get the charcoal nice and hot very quickly. Uh, we don't have one of those, so what we are going to use is our firebox. We're gonna take a piece of paper and we're just going to twist this. And we're going to put it in the bottom of our firebox. And now we're just going to fill this up with charcoal. All right, our coals are lit and they are turning into hot coals. So we're gonna go inside and uh, get our chicken ready. All right, we're just gonna take a few uh, russet potatoes that I have here. We're gonna wash them up and uh, throw them in the bottom of the pot. And then on top of that, we're gonna lay this spatchcock lemon rosemary chicken that I got from Trader Joe's. Yes, I am cheating. For those of you guys that have been following the channel, you guys know that we are in transition to hopefully moving to a new property. So I've been cleaning out the freezer and the refrigerator. So that means buying a lot of stuff like this. Um, but for those of you guys that wanna make it, the only thing that's in it is uh, a moho brine, which is made up of water, orange juice, brown sugar, lime, and salt. And then a marinade of olive oil, garlic, vinegar, rosemary, parsley, and rosemary extract, and then some lemon slices. So it's pretty healthy. We're gonna get started by washing up some potatoes and dicing them. I just wanna know how many people are gonna yell at me for not putting a wet washcloth underneath my cutting board. <laughs> I never think to do it. All right, now we're gonna coat our potatoes with some lard. Uh, I do have a recipe as to how to make lard if you're interested. Warm it up between my hands. Just like that. And then give the potatoes a nice massage. There we go. Somewhat even potatoes. Now I'm gonna add some seasoning. I got some garlic salt here. Some regular salt. And some black pepper. And the 
again, just going to rub that all in. Now I'm going to take my chicken and lay it on top. Now for those of you that uh, are not familiar with a spatchcock chicken, uh, a spatchcock chicken is just a way of cutting the chicken. Uh, basically you just remove the backbone, so take a pair of scissors up either side of the backbone and remove it, and then you lay the chicken flat. Now the reason for doing that is to help the chicken cook a little bit faster. So hopefully that will help our chicken cook faster outside under the coals. We're gonna dump this out. And we're gonna, oh, these are hot. We're gonna arrange some of these on the bottom. Somewhat evenly. Now my understanding from what other people other people that have cooked with coal before and on Dutch ovens is you want a ratio of uh, half as many on bottom as on top because you want this to cook both on top and bottom. So we're gonna put our pot on these. We're gonna take these coals and put them on top. And we'll probably get another batch of coals started and now this is going to need to be rotated about every 15 minutes. So the whole pot's going to need rotated and we're going to need to rotate the lid. All right, now we're going to rotate this pot about a quarter of a turn. And then we're going to rotate the lid about a quarter of a turn. And that prevents hot spots and an even cooking surface. Keeps an even cooking surface. The roosters go back and forth. Our rooster and the neighbor over here talk several times through the day. All right, it's been about 30 minutes. Our coals are starting to turn to dust, so we're just gonna check this and see how it's cooking. Oh yeah. Mm. It's been about 45 minutes. We're just going to check the temperature of our chicken to see uh, how much further it has to go. I have a um, meat thermometer here and the temperature we're looking for is 180 degrees. Now we're just gonna take this lid off and I have a, a lodge lid holder over here and you're gonna see the reason for that because this is really hot and we don't wanna set that on the ground and have it get dirty and then put it back on our chicken. That is done. Cool. And here's our potatoes. They are nice and soft. I am so excited. This looks amazing. This is the first time that I've ever cooked in a Dutch oven and on charcoal. So, uh, this is done. We're going to bring this inside and serve it with a salad. And I actually made some croutons in our sun oven and some hard boiled eggs in our sun oven. So we're going to have a nice salad to go along with this. And uh, yeah, 
I uh, hope you guys are enjoying um, watching us as we learn to cook off grid. And if you guys like this kind of stuff and uh, want to keep following us on this journey, because we have a lot more things uh, going on when it comes to off grid cooking, uh, definitely stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.